My girlfriend moved out three weeks ago. My cat, Ruck, was really close to her, and now that she's gone, I can tell he's a bit lonely. Especially when I'm at work. I came home a few times to my curtains ripped up, or all the toilet paper in shreds. The last straw was when I came home after working late to find he had clawed a hole the size of a dinner plate into the side of the sofa. I decided I had to do something. I tried different toys, even catnip, but nothing worked. One night while browsing Amazon, I saw a pet camera. It's a tiny camera that records your pet on a live feed, so you can monitor their behavior while you're away. It even has an audio function so you can talk to them. Sounded silly, but hey, I love my furry dude, so I bought it. I got overnight shipping and installed it immediately. I decided to set it up in my bedroom, as that was where Ruck dwelled most. My first day at work, I think I checked that camera 30 times. When I spoke into the microphone, Ruck seemed to be happier, and I noticed there was no destruction around the house either. By day four, I figured I'd solved the problem with Ruck. That leads me to right now. About 30 minutes ago, I climbed in bed with Ruck, ready to close my eyes when my phone buzzed. A notification from the pet cam. I almost ignored it, sure I just triggered the thing, but I opened it anyway. What I saw made my grip tighten on the phone. Instead of a video of myself in bed, I saw a man, tall, gangly, with pale skin and large eyes. He was moving into my room with exaggerated steps, like a sneaking cartoon character. He got right up to the lens, so close I could almost smell his rotten breath, and he smiled. I immediately paused the video, terrified. I looked at the spot where the man should have been standing, but there was no one there. I went onto Amazon and found the pet cam, and read the reviews, hoping for some weird glitch. It had to be a joke, right? The first dozen reviews were pretty standard, but it was the last that caused me to bolt upright. The customer complained that the camera was on a time delay, sometimes as much as 15 minutes. I went back to the video and pressed play with shaky fingers. I watched in horror as the man slithered under my bed, giving the camera a wink before disappearing in the darkness. Then I saw myself enter the room and climb in bed before the video ended. Now I'm sitting in my bed, knowing he's under it. I could call the police, but I doubt I'd have time. So please, do yourselves a favor and read the reviews.